My name is Elizabeth Stevens. Um, currently, I'm a board member for Genesis. My name is Nathan T. Meyer, and I have been involved with Genesis now for about two years. My name is Joshua Castillo. Most friends here call me Josh. So my name is Anupam Mitra, and I'm on the board for Genesis. I'm Trisha Gabriel. Well, my name is Marcus Gabriel. My name is Corto. I'm 15 years old. Hi, my name is Jill Nice Wonder, and I live here in Des Moines, Iowa. My name is Karen Kelly. I'm the Intercultural Outreach Coordinator for the West Des Moines Community School District. My name is Joseph Dama, uh, originally from Guinea, Conakry. So my name is Ruth Montangi, and I am um, from, originally from Kenya, and I am a member of um, Genesis Youth Foundation Board. I got to know Sam and Trisha and Genesis because in my real life job I'm a um, librarian at Johnston Public Library and Johnston has a um, pretty sizable African population. We have a lot of Liberian people and a lot of people from Congo among other places. I actually met Sam and Trisha through a friend of mine that uh, knew them through other avenues and so uh, my wife and I started volunteering with Genesis helping out on uh, a weekly basis at nights getting to know the kids and then uh, I've gotten to be more involved with the board since then. I heard about Genesis because I, in my line of work, have really worked with um, with youth in addition to their families, and we were experiencing a lot of behavior challenges, especially at the junior high level, and recognizing um, just such a huge disconnect from the student body, the teachers, and just like the community that that school is located in. So. When I heard that Sam was starting Genesis Youth Foundation and they were using soccer and arts and, um, and dance to connect students more to their culture and then also work on academic skills, I thought, oh, I need to learn more about that. So I met Sam. When I moved to Iowa, I, I happened to get a place near Sam, the, the director of Genesis. And he saw I had little kids, so he came to my house and he said, hey, there is a program that I have that your kids can uh, um, be involved in. So a couple of years back, so we moved to, my wife and I moved to Iowa about four years back. And one of the things one of my friends told me was go join the Greater Des Moines Leadership Group. And what you do there is you spend a year, about nine months in a project, and where, where you go meet a lot of uh, interesting people across the entire community, whether it's in public works, whether yeah. it is in in health and so on and so forth. <clears throat> and as a part of that, you take on a project. And so Sam had approached the leadership group to work on his branding, work on his presence within the community so that people knew what Genesis stood for. So he spent about, I'd say, six, seven months working on what the brand looks like, what the message is, what our overarching strategy was going to be over the first two years. And at the end of the project, we had a great launch, fantastic launch. So the new website, the new look and feel, that's what it looks like. So at the end, it was very clear that we need to continue moving the strategy forward because it, just, it wasn't one of those things where I give you a book and I go, this is good, let me walk away. So I became involved in Genesis when I uh, met Sam. We met in the parking lot of, of Walmart. Her mom was friends with my sister. Um, I'm a volunteer with Genesis Youth Foundation. Uh, Sam and I met through a Leadership Institute class that Des Moines hosts every year. And I heard about his message and the programs that he does for his kids and really got involved and got to know him. I think one of the things that's really powerful for me that I've heard Sam talk about is that he talks about this kind of secret knowledge of the middle class, white middle class in America. And I think one of the things that is super impactful and powerful is he kind of acts as a translator, I think oftentimes between two communities. And sometimes all it takes is this introduction um, before, before people kind of realize, oh, okay, we're all just people. We all want our kids to be successful. We all want to have you know, good food to eat and opportunities available. Genesis has a really positive impact. Um, I think a lot more people are becoming aware of, of different communities because now they see a soccer team who, you know, they don't look like our kids from West Des Moines, so they are 
encouraged to ask questions, to learn more about, again, on that personal level, and finding that common love of a sport or dance or whatever it is. One of the things that I really like about volunteering is just uh, the ability to just give back. And, you know, I've, I've been very fortunate in my background, and I've had a lot of opportunities and a lot of things that I just took for granted growing up. And so I wanted to be able to uh, just do a really small piece to try to help other kids have that same opportunity. When the kids came, um, they, they liked the program. And so we, there were very few kids then. And so we would drive them to the places wherever they were going to play. Welcome to Norwalk, Iowa. This is where it all started for Genesis. Uh, in 2013, Sam Gabriel called me and asked me to be a match commissioner for his uh, tournament. Uh, the tournament was um, a group of Africans coming together to play soccer and make it fun. And I saw Genesis with a dream, but I wasn't sure where this was all leading us. Um, after the tournament here in Norwalk, Iowa, I called Sam and I said, Sam, you saw what happened today? We transformed the city of Norwalk. I worked with um, Sam and the, the Genesis board to create a proposal for funding to bring the after school program that they offer here at their um, center and to take it on site three days a week at our junior high school. Genesis came about 2009 when um, Sam saw the need to be involved in the lives of young boys. Um, freshly out of high school, those in high school saw so that they were going through um, gang activities, the fighting and um, vandalizing each other's property. When we started it was all boys and as they were growing up we, um, I said for me to be involved and really take on the mission, I would like to start with the younger kids because I love to sing and dance, so um, that's how I started getting involved with the kids from, we had kids from five years old and up, and that's how I started teaching them um, dancing and singing, and while they're there, I started the academics aspect of it. So initially Genesis started around librarian kids, which is a nice little tight bubble to have because your messaging is, is nice and clean. But beyond that, we started looking at African kids. Beyond that, now we're just looking at kids in general. It's a program for kids and to help them with school, their behavior and grades. People from different walks of life and like kids from like different places around the world can come and like interact with people that they haven't met before. The thing I like the most about Genesis is that Sam recognizes that for this to be successful, the community members have to have a major role. Um, it's really easy in the nonprofit sector to let a funder come in and help you decide how and what should be done. Uh, but Sam and Tricia know the importance of letting the community have a voice and letting them have a voice at the table and helping the community decide what's best for them and what they need. And then using that information to go out into the broader community and say, you know, here's what we need, here's what we think, what resources are available. We believe in God with the mission of Genesis you know, I, I always tell people about it, you know, mention it, that this is God's work and we are just the vessels and this is our purpose. I think that's, what, that's the secret, is that we believe that this is not about Trisha and I, it's not about our family, it's bigger than us and we, 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 that's what keeps us together. At Genesis, I feel like we're all family. The kids can come over at my house, spend the weekend, and I'm able to go to any of the parents' home and ask for something and don't feel like I'm going to be turned down. Um, I think Genesis is a really at a very exciting point. Um, people are in the Des Moines metro area are becoming much more aware of the mission and the vision. And a lot of people, the need exists. And a lot of people are becoming aware of what Sam and Tricia are doing and reaching out to them and saying, hey, we'd like to get involved. And as the mission gets bigger, the need for volunteers, I think, also becomes bigger. The thing that I think 
Genesis is doing for members of the African community here in Des Moines is giving them a space where they say, we understand your needs, we understand your culture, and we're going to let you be who you are here. And so even though the kids are playing soccer against um, local teams and statewide teams, um, getting that interaction into traditional American culture, they're also able to be proud and to have a significant influence um, from members of their own community and keep that tie to their native culture. I want people to know that everything that we do at Genesis is something that we didn't have growing up. Whether it is making sure the kids understand, especially for me, because I like to make sure that kids understand why five times five is 25. Not just, you know, memorizing it, you know? Kids come here after school to play soccer, but they also are engaged in other arts programs. So we have um, girls doing some sewing, arts and crafts, and then there's also dances and performances. So it's not just soccer, but soccer is the main ingredient. Um, but really the goal is to engage young people after school and also to level the playing field because um, with soccer, sometimes, you know, uh, young people from other countries get overlooked in some of these opportunities. This is a very good uh, project, it's a very good cause because um, like we always say, it takes a village to raise a child. So we cannot do this in isolation. We need people around us to, to support in various ways. Come and volunteer, come and support in any way you can. Because eventually, if we ignore these kids, they'll come and cause some negative impact in the community. Um, when I first met Sam and Trisha and got involved with Genesis Youth Foundation, it was definitely um, a club and it was definitely Sam and Trisha's club um, in that they were doing all the work, um, they were doing all the outreach, um, they were accomplishing all the goals. And over the last almost three years now, um, I have seen that shift take place where they are moving towards being an organization. Um, they have a board that is thriving and working hard um, to have impact in the, in the organization without Sam's um, approval or um, hand-holding through that. Um, they have their own ideas about what Genesis is going to be and what's going to look like. Um, they've made a ton of progress as far as sustainability goes. I just, I'm really happy that Genesis Youth Foundation exists here in our community. I think it's really, um, the genius of Genesis is that it does use culture and like your roots to engage kids who at a time when everybody's trying to figure out who they are, especially that junior high age, is like, am I my, my parents? Am I from here? Am I from there? What language do I speak? It's just such a time of identity building and to bring in those, those roots I think is really important for our students and I just love that Genesis is making that one of their, their primary goals. The use of the soccer and the arts program and the sewing program is really an exciting way to get kids in the door. They're excited to come and participate in those programs. And they have fun and they compete and they get better at the things that they love. Um, meanwhile, Sam and Trisha are working on mentoring them and having them understand um, how school is important and being respectful of your parents and your family. Um, so I love that Sam and Trisha are focusing on things that parents want to see done, but doing it in a way that makes the kids excited um, to be here and to participate. It's a nice program, it's a nice project, and I hope it's going to grow from one level to another and for generations to come. Genesis is just an awesome organization and I, everyone I met that's involved with it is just super energetic, very excited, has a great heart, and uh, I'm very fortunate just to, to be a part of it.